What's up, everybody? Welcome in to yet another Big Man on Campus college basketball preview video. Getting you ready for the season, which gets started on Tuesday, November 5th. Make sure you check out all the previews as we go alphabetically through and go through each of them. I'll have all the videos up. Got a couple done already, but it's time to take on the ACC and what should be one of the most competitive conferences in the country. I mean, when y'all, when he, you, you break bread and you look at it here, there are four teams in this conference that can win the national title very easily. It's that simple. You look at four of these teams, possibly top 10 teams coming into the season. You look at the favorites, and obviously for me, I think there are seven teams in this conference that can win this conference, and it wouldn't surprise me if any of them do so. The favorite right now, and to me a three, top three team in the country, has to be Louisville. Uh, you look at all the questions uh, last year of this team. Coming into the year, it's amazing how quickly Chris Mack is able to make this team a contender again. They have one of the best players in the country in Jordan Awara. They have a great uh, group of role players that surround him. Uh, they have a good group of All-Americans coming in, including uh, Samuel Williamson, who is a McDonald's All-American. The big question with Louisville really is going to be, um, is Lamar Kimball good enough to run the point for them? And I think he is. Uh, Kimball's had some tough luck with injuries uh, at uh, St. Joe's, but coming into Louisville, I think he could be one of the bigger and better transfers of the season. Uh, he comes in. Uh, he's a good floor general. He can get to the hoop and score baskets. Um, this is a cohesive team. This is a complete team. Uh, and coming into the season, it's all about continuity. Uh, those are the teams that generally make runs uh, in the tournament. To me, if I had to list a favorite, it would probably be Louisville. But I'll tell you, I think the team that actually ends up winning this conference is going to be UNC. You look at, obviously, they did lose a lot from last year, but they welcome back um, a team that is going to be unbelievable offensively. It's actually unfair to put Cole Anthony on that team, the way they run in transition. Uh, this is going to be a fun team to watch all year. You like high-scoring games, this team's going to be for you. They went out in the transfer market and addressed uh, a shooter in Justin Pierce. They went out and got a guy uh, from Charleston Southern and Christian Keeling, uh, a guy that can drop 20 on any team regularly. This team's going to score a lot of points. The question is, are they good enough defensively? And I think they are. Sterling Manley, Leaky Black, all those guys are are – good defenders, and I think if Roy can just get a good enough defensive team, they're among one of the best teams in the country. I don't know if there's a better offensive team on paper than this one. Uh, Roy has quite the team, and the prize possession, Cole Anthony, is – I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if he's the best player in the country. Uh, I, I think right now he's two, but, I mean, North Carolina is going to be fun to watch. You know, but all these teams, whether it's Virginia, Duke, Louisville, or North Carolina, all of them have bigger aspirations than – uh, winning the ACC. It's nice and all, but you want to go and cut down the nets. And that's what generally expectations are in the ACC. You know, Florida State's interesting. They're always a team that makes a run in the uh, NCAA tournament. They're always long. They're always deep. Uh, you know, they can always jump out of the gym. They're always good defensively. Uh, they're always deep, which I think I've already said, but they are. I mean, they're always a team that can run 10 out there. Um, I don't know if this is one of their stronger teams. They'll be fine. They'll be good. They'll be long. Um, but Trent Flores has to figure out his scoring ability. If he could do that, they could be a really good team. They'll be jumping out of the gym from a pogo stick perspective. Uh, NC State definitely hurt themselves last year with their non-conference schedule. Obviously, if you're Kevin Keats, uh, it's got to be better. Uh, and, again, Kevin Keats doesn't make those decisions. But you look at their out-of-conference schedule this year, um, again, not much to be excited about here. Um, you know, you play Memphis. I guess that's, you know, a good game. And Auburn's good, too. That should be enough. Um, you know, but for the most part, this team played a laughable out of conference schedule. And that was one of their undoings last year. Uh, Notre Dame, if I'm looking at a sleeper, I'm looking at the Irish. A lot of people forgot about the Irish this year because of, obviously, Rex Fluger getting injured. Uh, they were just a different team without Rex Fluger. They never really had a guy to go to. He's back this year. Uh, and as usual with Notre Dame, they rarely miss a beat offensively. They are going to be back to their old ways. They don't make mistakes. They're good at the foul line. Mike Bray's team is just really 
really interesting and really fun to watch. They bring back a nice group of guys as well. You bring back Fluger, Prentice Hub, TJ Gibbs, Dane Goodwin, Nate Lazowski, John Mooney. Uh, this is a good basketball team. They're going to throw some wrenches in teams' plans this year. It wouldn't surprise me if they get back to the NCAA tournament. Uh, they're going to be really impressive. I like Notre Dame. We always know Mike Bray always has his teams playing good offensively. Last year, they just had a lot of bad luck. A lot of people have asked me about Syracuse on the shows that I do. Uh, I'm not really running to the window to jump in and get involved with them. Um, they have a lot of question marks. I mean, you lose Ty's battle and Frank Howard, Oshie Brissett. Um, th this is so much production to lose. And, you know, as usual with Syracuse, it's never defense. I mean, we know they're going to play a good defense. And Baham's had a top 50 defense, I think, every year for the last 10 years. It's a question of who picks up the offensive slack for them because, again, uh, Ty's battle and Frank Howard ain't walking through the door. Um, could Jalen Carey be that guy? I think they hope. Bryson, Bryson Gooden, maybe him as well. You know, I, I, I'm not looking to them and saying, wow, I have to get behind Syracuse. They'll try to win games in the low 60s, and, you know, once in a while they'll throw a zone in. It'll bother you. But th th today in college basketball, zones are so tough because so many teams can just shoot the rock. Uh, Miami is an interesting team. Um, I think they have the potential to be a pretty good team, actually. Um, they actually went out and made some really nice decisions in the transfer market. Uh, Cameron McGusty is, is a guy that had some really good success down at Oklahoma. They also bring in a guy named Keith Stone who played at Florida. Two really good players in your, your front court. Uh, Chris Likes is a diminutive water bug that's just going to get to the hoop. Um, they have to figure out their defense, though, and this is a long way away from where Jim Laranaga once was defensively. They've had some really good defensive teams over the years. That wasn't exactly strength last year. They have to be better on the defensive end. But, you know, really these, I think, outside of Syracuse, the top nine teams in this conference, none of them would surprise me uh, if they go and, and, and win, you know, a, a game in the tournament. Uh, Pittsburgh, I think gonna, they're going to have some trouble. They're getting there, um, but Jeff Cable needs some more time. Georgia Tech, um, they're not going to a, a postseason, so we don't have to really worry about them. You know, I actually, surprisingly enough, I thought this could have been one of the better Georgia Tech teams in a long time. Um, you got to go back to, like, Thaddeus Young the last time uh, this team was any good. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, Jose Alvarado, really good player. Uh, I like Bubba Parham. They brought him in from VMI. Uh, if you know anything about VMI, they love to shoot the ball there. Parham is a great shooter. Uh, you also brought in uh, Jordan Usher, who will be eligible at the new year. Again, you don't have to really worry about them because they can't make any postseason. So uh, that definitely hurts. Uh, I think it's a long year for for Brad Burnell and that group. Uh, not a lot of talent down there. Uh, Virginia Tech could be the worst team in this conference. Look, I mean, Mike Young, you got to be excited about the Wofford coach. But Buzz Williams and then everyone else, some Blackshear leaves. Um, you know, uh, Chris uh, Clark left. I mean, so many guys left this team. I think they're rebuild mode down in Blacksburg. And I think the only reason they're not the worst team in this conference is because uh, because Wake is is even worse, and so is Boston College. Um, you know, I, you got to wonder how long does Danny Manning last at, uh, at Wake Forest? I mean, uh, I, I know you're not getting the best players or anything, but, I mean, you had like John Collins there and you didn't do anything. Um, the worst team in this conference is, is definitely BC, though. All these teams are bad, um, so we don't really have to spend a ton of time on them. For me, I'm going to go with UNC. I think they win this conference. Look, all four, Virginia, UNC, Duke, Louisville, they're all title contenders. Uh, we care more about what they do uh, from a long-term perspective as opposed to just the ACC. Uh, my under-the-radar team, I'm going to go with Notre Dame. They'll be my uh, – It'll be my team. So uh, here's the thing, guys. Make sure you go check out all the other previews they did. I've already done about five of them. So uh, make sure you check them all out. I'm the Big Men on Campus. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, and if you're looking for your conference, it'll be out soon. The season starts on Tuesday. Everyone have a great day. I'm the Big Men on Campus. We'll see you next time.